old school movie matinee drama where the grieving ghost comes out to raise spirits in writer-director Fred Rabbath's 2020 release of The Waiting. Eric Brady is looking for love and tries online dating with disastrous results. He lives with his mum and has just started a new job, working at the front desk of a hotel lodge. The hotel could be doing better, but guests and locals are put off by the true story of a young woman killing herself in one of the rooms after being jilted by her married man-lover. Her ghost resides still in room 101, and even the hotel staff are afraid to enter, and when they do to clean up the room, after the ghost's mood swings within, they set a timer of one minute to quickly tidy up, as a moment later, and the ghostly apparition appears. New boy Eric, played by Nick Lely, is a well-intentioned 30-something guy, but a bit of a bumbling loner, and of course an easy mark for the staff, who dare him to go in the haunted room alone. Eric is actually curious to learn more about the story of the occupant, and after falling victim to his initial spooky startling first entering of the room, later goes back and comes face to face with the ghost. He empathises with the sad-looking lady of pasty grey complexion and glowing eyes and attempts to communicate with her. Initially, his reasons are to help the hotel rid themselves of the ghost to enable them to bring more revenue into the business. But through means of a mobile phone, indeed odd but oddly original, he is able to communicate with the ghost who is unable to speak directly and Eric learns that the lady's name is Elizabeth. He also learns that she took her own life, distraught that one evening after being with her lover he left never to return. Eric is determined to uncover who the man was and why he left Elizabeth all alone and he soon discovers that her lover is still alive. The awkward and cumbersome Eric, think a Seth Rogen, Wreck-It Ralph type character, meets with Elizabeth's former lover, a man named Sean Davis, now an old man, residing at a retirement home that he actually owns, but largely confined to a wheelchair and as stubborn as they come. Eric wants to find out the truth as to why Sean just left Elizabeth alone after that last evening spent together with her. But also come up with a plan to keep the hotel in business, as the owner's plan is to sell, and if the hotel is razed to the ground to rebuild anew, then Elizabeth's ghost will have no place to be. Throw in an improbable, growing love story between Elizabeth and Eric, and the movie is just missing a pottery wheel moment, and Patrick Swayze putting the ghost in the corner for a dirty dancing session. It's all rather Mills and Boone, schmaltz, daytime drama, TV driven, but at its heart the movie does have a charming style from the bygone Hollywood era of the 40s and 50s that will appeal to an older audience of fans of that time period. Overall, the film is sadly likely to get overlooked by a modern day quick fix, action seeking generation. And so a 3 out of 10 review score here with that in mind. Hopefully though, it does not deter a more discerning audience looking for a nostalgic nod to yesteryear's classic cinema charms and trip down memory lane, where the likes of Hedy Lamarr and Ray Milland could well have played the lead roles of Elizabeth and Eric. If the slow burn, retro vibe drama style is for you, then don't ghost this movie. As for you, the waiting 
is over. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Yeah.